That's the hardest thing to do. We're good at spewing about other people. Just look at Facebook. You know? People spewing about everybody. But who has the guts to look to them in? Because that's where the magic is. That's where all the nuggets are. They're there. You just have to uncover them. This is a process of uncovering them. Here's a really wild one. One of them is ethical slash spiritual. And all kinds of really cool things happen when people look into that part of the world. You're know, talking about religion, faith, or your ethics. Who here has their list of personal values listed and written on a piece of paper? Wow. Think about that. Think about that. This is the area, this is a really cool area where people have a chance to look within. What are the non-negotiable behaviors that I espouse? I won't break them. What are those things? That's fine with true north. In here. How about um, another one of my favorites that always time management. Who here is a great time manager? Yeah, that's about the right statistic you'll find in the group. The reason I came is because I'm very OCD and I took three classes on time management, so I managed my time very well. I have to. Awesome. This is one of the areas where most people say, oh, I suck at this. So imagine, imagine carving out, think about this, another hour or two every day for you. Because that's what people go through mastery and told me they do. Another hour to two hours for you to do as you wish. What is the value of that to you? Huge. Huge. And not just one piece. An hour or two for you. To do as you wish. Do what you want. Whatever you want to do. <coughs> you cool with this? Any questions? You guys look shell-shocked. <laughs> Mesmerized. I get it. I get it. You might be thinking, now I know why Alan says you really have to like go through it. It's not easily done on your own. You know, it just isn't. There's too much. It's too detailed. And this is a very glorious path. It, it's laid out so beautifully. I tried to change little things over the 20 years I've had elevations. And it doesn't work. I just go back the way it is. But it works. Yes, there have been tweaks to it. There have been some things. But nothing major. Does anyone feel they've been through this on their own? In some way, shape, or form? Anyone really seen the light? Where boom, the light bulb goes on. Now nah, I've got my shit together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, almost everyone. I was going to say, moment. Moment, moment, moment. I thought that 10 minutes ago, and then what? That's it. But it's changed since then, Judy. All right. So, uh, right at the end of my 29th year, going to my 30th year, I was diagnosed with a tumor in my thigh bone. And uh, I'm making a long story short the effect. And I had to have three inches of my thigh bone removed. Uh, some of you know this, some of you don't, but one of my greatest loves is ice hockey. I'm an ice hockey player. And here the doctor was saying, that's it, you're done. Because I'm taking three inches of your femur out, it's the largest bone in your body. We're replacing it with your hip. And I think I'll be able to get you to walk again. But you'll always walk with a limp. You'll never play hockey again. And that's 
right before my 30th birthday. That's when I said, nobody will tell me what I can or cannot do. And in the nine months I was laying in bed recovering, I went through this. Didn't know it. Didn't know it at all. Because I had nothing else to do. That was really before cable TV. I couldn't watch ESPN. I didn't like soap operas. So I wasn't watch TV. I read every book in the house. But laying there, what do you think about? Thank God I thought about me. What am I going to do? What do I want? I knew I wanted to divorce the woman I was married to. She and I were on the same eye to eye. I wanted kids. She didn't want kids. That was one of my big things. I wanted to be a dad. I wanted to have a job that I wasn't a slave to. I didn't want to work on the weekend. I wanted a house at the beach. Go on and on. Now, did I write it down? No, I didn't know enough to write it down. It was here. And as soon as I was on my feet again, I started working that list. It was really this in a more detailed form. Got divorced, got a sales job while I was on the road all day long. Most of the time I was home by 2 o'clock. I made more money than I ever thought I'd make. Got promoted, moved to Virginia Beach, bought a house in Virginia Beach. Found my wife, had three kids, became a dad on the ice again playing hockey until a few years ago. And all those things. That's why 20 years ago, when I found this in paper form, I was like, I know that. I can help people with that without them having to lay in bed for nine months. <laughs> so by Thanksgiving, you can have it. All done and dusted. All right. So what do you do with a gold cat? <clears throat> Goal category can be brought. So what do we do with the goal category? We transfer it into a goal. But before we do that, let's go back here. So think, you've gone through 10 areas. Just give a guess. How many goal categories do you think you would have in each of those areas? Two or three at least. Two or three? At least. All right, so let's say there's three. That's 30 goal categories that you have in front of you. How many things can a human being work on at one time? Does anybody know? There's a lot of studies on this. Well, one on, on a right now basis, but other than that, six maximum. So it's condensing all those goal categories so prioritization becomes important. What's more important? And imagine how difficult it is to take 30 items and figure out what's number one and what's number 30. That's part of the process to do that. What happens to number 30? Does anyone know? It goes bye-bye. You thought it was important, but they're just things that are much more important. You know, for Dina, when she took her things and took the cloud away, getting that doctor was like, I'm getting that doctor. And that was one of her top ones. So I'm dusted. So you figure out what's important to you. What is it I really have to work on? So once you have your handful of goal categories, Turn them into a goal. And remember, there are criteria. So, what's the goal category? Exercise more. Let's play with that one. Now we have to turn it into a goal. Does everyone remember the criteria of a goal? Yes, that's one. W. Read. H, harmonious. We'll talk about these in a second. Why? What's the why? You. 
yours. S. Specific. M. Measurable. A. Attainable. R. Realistic. Realistic. Or realistically high. So it's got to be something that kind of challenges you a little bit. And, and the T is for time bound, for target date. So when creating a goal, it has to meet these criteria. And if you think this is easy to do, think about the things you want to accomplish and how many got accomplished, how many didn't get accomplished. A lot of times, without this, without being written in that format, you put it out to the universe, the universe will work in your favor. But going through this, it'll happen like right away. This is the magic accelerator right here. So there's actually a sheet we use called the goal planning sheet where we put your goal through an algorithm which winds up with the exact steps you need to take when and what you need to do to make it happen. Any questions about any of these, what they mean, or how, to, how to find it? Can you elaborate a little bit on harmonious? Sure. This is, this is the key. We always just say smart goals. 